Hi ladies, it's your girl Angel 515 2010 and Nathaniel. <laughs> Sorry it has been such a long time, but mommy life is really busy and as you see, this little bubby wants all the attention for himself. Let's see if you want your patty. Alright. So, this is going to be a quick update on Nathaniel. He is officially 11 weeks and one day old. Aww, hello, not happy? You gonna let mommy do a video? You gonna let mommy do a video? You wanna be in a video? She hmm. you know I wanna be in your video. So this is why mommy hasn't been vlogging, cause when he's awake, he wants all of my attention. Um, but he is officially 11 weeks, one day old. He is a talker, as you guys can hear. He loves to tell you stories. Um, he is 11 pounds and 23 inches long now. Um, that was at his last appointment. Um, he went in for his two-month checkup. So this was about a week, yeah, about a week and a half ago. Um, so I'm pretty sure he's a little bit bigger than 11 pounds. Probably almost closer to 12. All right. Probably closer to about... 11 and a half almost 12 pounds now um he is still breastfed um we supplement between formula and breast milk he gets at least one formula bottle per day um just because that's what i put his vitamin d drop in so i try to give him that um he is in daycare part-time i work um at a correctional facility so i work 12 hour shifts um, so on the days that I'm at work, he goes to daycare. My husband drops him off because he's a eight to five Monday through Friday. So he would drop him off before work and pick him up after work. So he's kind of like the, the mommy that drops him off at daycare. Um, and then on the days that I'm off, he's at home with me. So today's my off day. Um, and then on the weekends, he's at home with my husband, um, because my husband doesn't work on the weekends. So he only goes to daycare 10 days out of the month. Um, with this schedule so it's really really great um, and it cuts back on costs a lot for us um, I really love his daycare I love the ladies that are there um, and you know just just the daycare in general I love it he loves it um, things about Nathaniel um, as you guys can see he is very very alert he loves to talk and make noise kind of like he's doing now yeah you're talking to YouTube you're talking to YouTube say hi YouTube um, he's very alert he loves to talk um, he is sleeping throughout the night now um, he gets really really worn out or tired at daycare um, he has certain days where he doesn't like like to nap there he's not fussy the lady said he's just very interested in the other kids and what's going on around him um, he is the youngest baby in his class. Um, he's in the infant class. So most of the kids that are in there are about, you know, four or five months. And so they're doing more things. I think they even have like some 10-month and some 11-month-olds. So some of the babies that are crawling. Um, one of the 11-month-olds who was in there when he first started, he just moved to the toddler 2 class. Or the infant 2 class, which is technically the toddler class. So, um... He's the youngest baby in there. He enjoys learning and looking at them. So he kind of doesn't sleep throughout the day at daycare because he is interested in seeing what they are doing. Um, so when he gets home, he's exhausted. So for the last couple of days, oh yeah, the last couple of days I've been getting home, he has been asleep. And he will sleep till about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, which is when I wake up to go to work again. So, he literally is out from the time my husband gets him home, gives him a bottle and, you know, changes his diaper, you know, winds him down a little bit. Um, he goes to bed about 7 o'clock and he's out until about 4.30. Yeah. Um, he goes from breast to bottle really well, um, as well as he takes a pacifier now. Um, when we first brought him home he did not get a pacifier or a bottle for the first two and a half weeks of his life so when we tried to give him one he was not happy about the pacifier he took to the bottles um pretty well 
Um, the brand that I chose to use is Tommy Tippy. It's really it's supposed to be really good um, from going from breast to to bottle. So he does good with those. Um, and we tried a lot of different. He's hungry, you guys. We've tried a lot of different pacifiers, and the one that he seems to like the most. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna expose my boob to you guys, but I am gonna feed him. Um, the pacifier that he likes the best is. Um, M A M um, brand. Um, he will do a what do you call it? The little gumdrop pacifier, the one that they give you at the hospital. But he doesn't particularly like that one. He prefers um, his M A M pacifier. Uh, sorry, I'm doing some horrible vlogging right now i am using my phone because my camera is actually in my husband's car um from an event we went to this weekend um he has transitioned to his big boy all-in-one car seat which is inside of my truck and then when he's with my husband he rides in his bucket car seat in his car so he has two that way we don't have to take it out and you know move it from car to car um, he is hot natured, so he will sweat a lot. Um, so I try not to put any undershirts on him anymore. When he was really little, I used to do an undershirt and, you know, like his normal outfit. We only do his normal outfit now. We don't do the undershirt because he sweats so bad. Um, his hand-eye coordination is really great. He knows the sound of my voice and my husband's voice. Um, he can turn his head and, you know, look in the direction that the sound is coming from. He loves tummy time. Um, he really loves bath time now. And so far as height and weight, his um, height percentile, he was in the, I think, 43rd percentile. For his weight, he was in the 36th percentile. Um, he was a little bit small. And so far as his head, he was in the 68th percentile. Um, so far as head circumference. Um, at his two-month appointment, he did get his shots. Um, he ended up getting two shots. Um, his DTAP or Wolf and Cough vaccine. Um, he already had his hepatitis B second booster. He got the... Uh, can't remember the name of the other two vaccines um but just your typical you know four baby vaccines that you get they just combine them into two shots versus giving him four shots um and he got a oral um medicine at that appointment i wish i was a little bit more prepared i would have had the paper so i could have told you guys the name but i'm pretty sure you can google it um if you guys have any more questions or concerns about nathaniel or about me um, 11 weeks postpartum, I am still down, I think last time I checked, I was down 43 pounds, um, so I'm still smaller than I was pre-pregnancy, meaning I had to buy new clothes, um, for the most part, and switch out a lot of my old stuff that I had before pregnancy, because I'm actually smaller now, um, as well as, <sighs> sorry, okay, um, as well as I am pretty much completely healed from, um, having my C-section. Um, I don't feel it, um, my incision healed very well. Um, little to minimum scarring. Um, as well as, you know, I've gone back to work, obviously. I'm getting kind of random now, so I guess I'm going to cut this vlog short. Um, once again, any questions, comments, and concerns, leave them below. I will answer them. Sorry for the rush vlog. Mwah.